Although there may be many platformer tutorials on YouTube, when you're just learning to code, many of them can be way too complicated and hard to understand. If this is you, what you're watching right now is perfect. By the way, if you're a complete beginner to Scratch, check out the video in the top right corner. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, once you've made your project, bring out a when green flag click block, and after that, bring out a forever loop. Inside this forever loop, bring out an if then block. So whatever condition we put in here, will be constantly checked. Bring out a key right arrow press. So we're always gonna be checking for right arrow key presses. So at any point when the green flag is clicked, if the right arrow is pressed, whatever's inside this if statement is gonna run. So go to motion and bring out a change X by 10 and put it inside this if statement. And now hit the green flag and hit the right arrow key. As you can see, our player now moves. Remember, if we're changing our X position by a positive number, that makes it go right. And if we're changing our X by a negative number, it goes left. So we can duplicate the script if key left arrow is pressed, change X by negative 10. So this now checks for the left arrow. And if the left arrow key is pressed, we change the X by negative 10, which is left. So now we have left and right movement. But what if we want to add a collision? Go to control and bring out another if condition. Go to sensing and bring out a touching block. Instead of mouse pointer, we want ground. So put this inside the right arrow key press condition. And now you can see that every time the right arrow key is pressed, if we're touching the ground, whatever's inside here will run. Let's put a change X by negative 10 block inside the touching ground. If we're moving right and it's touching the ground, it'll move us left, which is out of the wall. So now hit the green flag and test it. Now our player doesn't go into this wall. What about doing the same thing for the left arrow key? Duplicate the script and put it inside the left arrow key pressed condition. And instead of change X by negative 10, change X by 10. So this is the same effect. And now if you hit the green flag, there's collisions. Well, what if we want to add gravity? Go to motion and bring out a change Y by block. Set it to something like negative six. Hit the green flag, and you can see that our player now has gravity. But it's not very convincing, as the player just goes down at a constant speed. If we want the player to have speed or velocity, we can make a variable. So go to variables and make a variable and call it y speed for this sprite only. When the green flag is clicked, make sure to set speed y to zero because that just resets the variable every single time the project is run. And instead of changing our y by negative six, we change it by y speed and before this change y by y speed bring out a change y speed by block and instead of one negative one so if you hit the green flag you can see that our player now has gravity and it moves with velocity it has speed so why does the script work take out these two blocks and let's test it in action so the first thing we need to do is set y speed to zero and bring the player out the top of the screen hit this script we changed our y speed by negative one and we changed our y by y speed which moves our player one pixel down hit the script again now as you can see the player moved down two pixels hit the script again the player moved down another pixel the pixel counter keeps on increasing so it's skipping more frames every single time it goes down now put the scripts back at the bottom of the forever loop let's add collision for when the player is touching the ground Go to control, bring out an if then loop. Go to sensing, and bring out a touching. So if we're touching the ground, then you could try something like change our Y by 10. But it only works for about one second before it just goes down again. Instead of changing our Y by 10, we can use math. Go to operators, and bring out a multiplication symbol. For the first circle, bring out a Y speed. In the second one, put in negative one. So we're multiplying y speed by negative one. In math, if you ever multiply anything by negative one, it's the opposite of itself. We also need to add one more block to the end of this if touching ground condition, which is a set y speed to zero block. Now hit the green flag. And as you can see, our player has gravity and it stops when it touches the ground. Well, what about jumping? Go to control and bring out an if then condition. If key up arrow is pressed, then set our speed y to 16 and put this inside the if touching ground condition because we only want our player to jump if it's touching the ground. So when we set our y speed to 16, 
it puts our player high up in the air, which creates the illusion of jumping. As you can see, our player now can jump. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me make these videos. Have a good day.